There's so much happening in Brisbane in 2023 and I don't want you to miss out. So in this video, I'm going to try to tell you about 31 events happening this January in Brisbane in just three minutes. There's events for kids, more adult events, even events for you and your dog. Some are ticketed and some are free, but there's something for everyone. So start the clock and here we go. First up, there's Monster Jump and Splash. You can book two hours on the Monster Jump obstacle course and water attractions, and spectators have free entry. Lifeline Book Fest is back this January. Find a bargain on books, games, puzzles, DVDs, and CDs, and help raise money for Lifeline's crisis support line. Entry is free. There's a few outdoor cinema events as well. Take your pets along on the 21st for the Pawson Movie Night, or catch a preview screening of Operation Fortune Ruse de Guerre on January 6th, one of the Moonlight Cinema screenings that run all month. What you may not know is that dogs are also allowed here. If you're traveling to the Gold Coast, look out for a session with movies under the stars throughout January. I'm gonna stop the clock because I don't want you to miss out on future events happening in Brisbane, so definitely hit the subscribe button and all notifications so that you don't miss out on videos like this, but also other videos about things that you may want to know about if you're living in Brisbane or planning to visit here. Also, if you give the video a thumbs up, that'll tell YouTube to show this to more people, which I'd certainly appreciate. Anyway, back to the January events. There's two festivals you may want to know about. Briz Asia Festival officially runs from February 1 to 19, but has events on January 13, 14, and the 22nd, which is Lunar New Year. And while we're on the Asian theme, there's also Brisbane Genki Market, which features a range of items with an Asian flavor. Then there's Jinyuri Festival, which is a celebration of all things gin held at Howard Smith Wharves. There's a heap of exhibitions running throughout January, many of which have free entry. Sunburn in the Suburbs is a uniquely Brisbane-inspired celebration of suburban summer. A fun one is Play Moves at the Museum of Brisbane, where you're encouraged to interact with the art. Queensland to a T explores Queensland culture and identity through collectible tea towels. On a larger scale is Sculpture in the Vines, which features outdoor sculptures throughout the Cirame Winery Estate. There's the very Instagrammable exhibition called Air at the Gallery of Modern Art, and you'll find art installations throughout the city as part of Brisbane City Council's Playground Public Art Exhibition. As far as events for kids and families, the Workshops Rail Museum has two events in January, a day out with Thomas for Thomas the Tank Engine fans, which also has a sensory friendly session on the 11th for kids with sensory processing difficulties, and Australia in Space, which has been developed by Questacon. Keeping with the space exploration theme, Neighbourhood Earth is on all month in Queen's Plaza. There's also Hologram Zoo, which finishes on the 31st as well. Something completely different is the School Holidays Bully Defence Workshop, which is free but needs to be booked. If you're looking to see a stage show, QPAC has a heap on in January. There's the internationally acclaimed musical Hamilton, Mary Poppins, there's the more adult burlesque circus show called Blush, for foodies, you can enjoy a discussion with celebrity chef Yotam Ottolenghi. You can also be immersed in the spectacle that is Slava's snow show, or be blown away by the experiments, illusions and facts of Operation Ouch live on stage. The Powerhouse is hosting Andy's Amazing Adventures live on stage, and Le Boit Theatre is hosting Garden Party, a uniquely Australian circus and physical theatre show for children and families. You can also catch Circus Rio at Rockley Showgrounds, and you can get 10% off tickets if you buy before the 8th of January. If you're into sport, you can support Australia's women's cricket team or Pakistan's in the one-day international series clash at the Allen border field. There'll be Australia Day fireworks on Bribie Island on the 26th, so why not make a day trip out of that? Just be prepared for some crazy traffic getting there and back. The last one's not actually in Brisbane, but close by, but I thought it'd be an interesting one worth checking out anyway. It's the Introduction to Bush Food with Auntie Dale, which is a workshop where you can learn all about native Australian food and the First Nations culture and traditions around them. So there you go, 31 events happening just in January here in Brisbane. I didn't make the three minutes, better luck next time, but that's just because there's so much going on. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future events happening in Brisbane, and I'll see you in the next video.